hello there welcome back to our youtube channel cat camster today we are going to design the simple part in solidworks this is a simple part exercise which we are going to design in solidworks 2018 version you can see this is a hollow part and here this boss base is of thickness 10 mm and we are going to use this 2D drawing to create this part and if you need this 2D drawing to practice on your own you can download it from our website which is mentioned here or I have provided the link in the description box to download this drawing so before getting started if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates now our first phase is the drawing creating phase let me go through the drawing so that you can easily understand what will be the approach of this drawing will be you can see this view here is the top view and here this thickness is 10 mm from here to here it is 40 mm you can see and from here to this base it is 50 mm so here thickness is 10 mm and this is the section view along this axis AA this horizontal axis this is the section view and this is the section view along axis this axis BB you can see the viewing direction is like this if we cut this part along this direction and view from this side towards right then we will get this type of cross section now first I'm going to design this boss these two circles and of dia 40 mm and then I will extrude it up to a distance of you can see here from here to here this is 40 mm so I will extrude it about 40 mm thickness then I will create this base then I will use shell command to make it hollow after that I will create this base then the remaining cylinders and flanges now let's get started first let me exit this first I will enter into the part mode click here file select here part click ok all these dimensions in the drawing are in millimeters so make sure you are working under mmgs system now select your front plane normal to and sketch now create two concentric circles of dia 40 mm sorry those will be not concentric but their center will be collinear for that click here one circle click here one circle now go to smart dimension or you can simply select first circle control select the other circle click here equal now go to smart dimension you can see here radius is 40 mm means is dia will be 80 mm now I will add some constraints select the center point and hold down the control key and select these two points and make it horizontal now I have to specify that the center to center distance for that you have to go through this section view you can see here all these circles are concentric here in this cylinder so from center to center it is 80 millimeters so go to smart dimension select this center this center this will be 80 now I will simply drag this so that drag this up to origin so that it is fully defined now I will create some tangents here snap this point select line command snap these two points snap this point and this point now you can see here 
these are only tangent at one point and other point is coincident you will uh, not create a tangent you have to delete this point delete this relation now you can let me delete select these two and make tangent you can see select these two and make tangent like this now i will use extrude command go to features select extrude boss base now you have to select the regions i will select this this region this one and this one now extrude thickness or height will be here from here to here it is 40 mm this will be the our extrude height so enter the value of 40 mm now click here ok now I will add this fillet you can see this one shown with the red color on this top surface and its radius is here you can see 5 mm go to fillet sorry go to fillet now we have to select edges make sure you check here tangent propagation because it automatically selects all the edges tangent to the selected edges you can select this face or if you don't want face to be selected you can select this edge and enter the value of 5 mm and click here ok in this way now you can see this boss which I have just created is a hollow you can see from this section view and thickness is here 10 mm you can see from here to here this distance is 40 mm and from top to bottom it is 40 plus 10 50 mm means the thickness is 50 minus 40 which is 10 mm so our thickness is 10 mm so I'm going to use shell command now click here shell command enter the thickness of 10 mm and select here show preview now we have to select the face which wants to remove we can see that from section view its bottom or base face is removed so i will select this base click here ok you can see now i have to create this base plate or base extrude this profile which I have to create I will create this quarter profile then I will mirror it about these axes and at last this horizontal axis to create the complete profile for that I will select this face normal to and sketch now I will select these first select this edge control select these edges like this and select here convert entities you can see this circle is of radius 50 mm and these are all are concentric with these circles and bosses so we will create two circles collinear with centers on the center of these circles of radius 50 or you can say dia 100 mm first I will create one horizontal axis one vertical axis and one horizontal axis like this now go to circle command so snap this point and enter the value of 100 like this again select circle command snap this center enter the value of 100 mm like this sorry I will not create this one I will mirror it let me delete this now I have to create this 
circle for that select circle command and create a circle almost here of dia 20 mm because radius is 10 and the value of 20 mm now let me break this relation and i want this end to be up to here let me coincide its midpoint select this midpoint and select this line make them coincident now i will drag it up to here now i will select a line command and create lines tangent to this circle i will create a random line like this horizontal line now select this line control select this arc and make tangent now again select line command and create an inclined line like this select this line control select this circle tangent again select this line control select this circle make tangent now select your trim entities trim this portion this portion this one and this one now again select trim command trim this portion and this one this one this one and this one sorry let me made one relation select this point now we have to assign some dimensions i will trim it later you can see from this center line it is 60 mm because whole distance center to center is 120 mm so go to smart dimensions select this point and select this line this distance is 60 mm like this and from center to this horizontal axis it is 50 mm because whole distance is 100 mm like this now you can see make these two coincident like this now i will trim this portion like this let me dimension these again make them tangent like this now select your mirror entities and select these entities to mirror and mirror about this axis like this Now again select here mirror entities. Now this time I am going to select all these profiles like this and mirror about this horizontal axis. Sorry, I my mistake I haven't selected these arcs. Let me select this one also. Now click here OK. Now you can see we have created this profile, this base profile. Now I will extrude it. Up to a thickness of 10 mm you can see here this thickness is 10 mm go to features select the extrude boss base and enter the value of 10 millimeters like this make sure you check here merge results click here ok you can see we have created this base also now we have to create some fillets first we will create this fillet here this radius is of 5 mm so go to fillet select this edge enter the value of 5 mm you can see the preview 
click here ok like this now now i create this cylinder here are the dimensions of this cylinder and this cylinder is on this face so i will select this face normal to and sketch select here circle command sorry circle command and first create a circle of dia 20 millimeters then i will extrude it up to a distance of 15 millimeters then i will create a 24 mm circle and extrude it up to a distance of 15 mm then i will create a 10 mm circle to create a hole throughout this portion then i will use mirror command to mirror this cylinder on this side so select this face and create one circle of dia 20 millimeters enter the value of 20 okay now you can see from center to base it is 25 mm from center to base this distance is 25 mm now we have to assign one more direction you can see this uh, circle is at mid of this face this rectangular face which you can see for that snap this center point and this circle make them vertical like this now go to features select here extrude boss base and extrude it up to a distance of 15 millimeters enter the value of 15 now click here ok now select this face normal to and sketch select circle command snap this center point now create a circle of dia 24 mm enter the value of 24 and ok now go to features, select a food boss base, enter the value of 15mm again, click here OK. Now we have to create this cutout of 10mm cylindrical cutout through all this part. For that, go to features, sorry, let me select this face and sketch a circle. Select circle command and dia will be 10 mm. So enter the value of 10 mm like this and OK. Now go to feature, select a shoot cut. Now you have to select here up to next. You can see it is showing the preview. OK. Now you can see we have created this cutout. Now we will use mirror command let me select a proper plane now you can see top plane is at the mid so it will do the job now go to uh, select here mirror now features we want these two extrudes and this cutout all three are selected now click here ok You can see now now you'll create these four holes at the base of dia 10 mm through all and these are concentric with the center of these fillets for that select this face normal and you can simply select here hole wizard I'm using hole wizard to create these holes it will save a time now select here hole 
and select here trap drills tab drills and dia will be m10 m10 one point select here uncheck here dear side countersink and up to 20 mm we want so we will enter the end condition up to 20 now go to positions select 3d sketch now snap this point snap this point now move cursor towards this fillet you can see the center snap this one and snap this one now click here ok now you can see we have created all four holes with the help of hole wizard now i will select this face and normal too now i am going to create these cylinders for that we have to go through the dimensions you can see dimensions are provided here and here too these two circles outer circles of are of dia 40 mm and the inner ones of the inner one of this cylinder is of dia 20 mm and of this cylinder the inner one circle is or cutout is of 20 mm but extrusion height is different these are this is open on top side but this is closed on the top so select this face and sketch now select your circle command i have to snap the center point sorry let me let me select here circle command and i will hover when i hover my cursor towards this arc you can see it is showing the center now snap this center and create a circle of dia 40 mm enter the value of 40 mm now select again here circle and enter the value of 40 mm like this now select this center point snap this one and make them horizontal now i have to specify the center to center distance or you can simply say it hasn't snapped with the center of this one this here will be the center let me make a point here and snap this center up to here like this Now I will extrude these one by one. For that, first I will select extrude this smaller one. Go to features, select an extrude boss base, expand here selected controls and select this circle only. Now extrusion distance will be you can see from you can calculate. you can calculate from here you can see from this boss top towards this cutout it is 20 mm and this thickness is 10 mm so first i am going to create this up to 20 mm so enter the value of 20 mm now i will expand this one and select this sketch and make it visible now again select a stood boss base and select this sketch again now i will select here from surface i want to extrude from this surface 
now height height will be this thickness 10 mm like this you might not see this but it is actually hollow sorry it is not hollow it is solid part now i will create this fillet of radius 5 mm for that go to fillet select this face enter the value of 5 mm and ok now i will select this face and sketch and sketch now create one circle of dia 20 mm now go to feature select here shoot cut you can see here at the cut starts at offset distance of 10 mm so i will simply select here from and expand this and select offset how much offset do i want i will enter the value of 10 mm direction is showing wrong so i will switch this one you can see our cut starts at offset distance of 10 mm now i will select here through all like this let me show you the preview so that you can easily view section view you can see this looks like exact here now cancel this now i will create this cylinder here this one its external dia is 40 mm and internal cutout is 20 mm and its total height is you can calculate from here 45 plus 10 plus 5 means 60 mm or you can say 55 plus this 5 mm above this flange which is mentioned here in section view BB so total distance from this surface will be 60 mm go to feature select extrude boss base select this sketch enter the value of 60 mm like this and ok now i will hide these sketches now go to sketch select this plane surface and create a circle select circle command and create a circle of dia 20 mm like this which is mentioned here now go to feature select here shoot gas cut now select here through all now click here ok you can see it is up to the this face which i have wanted now i will create this rectangular flange then i will create these fillets and that's all that will be all the all the features now first let me go through the flange dimensions here you can see the flange dimensions are 87 and 75 length and breadth and center i will use center rectangle center will be the center of these circles so I will select this face normal to and sketch now select your center rectangle and create a rectangle of dimensions 87 so enter the value of 87 press tab key now the dimension is 75 enter the value of 75 mm 75 like this and enter you can see now select here fillet or let me i will create fillet after extrusion but thickness is here 10 mm so go to features select extrude boss base and enter the value of 10 mm direction will be sorry you can see here this extrusion at is at a distance of offset of 5 mm below this surface so I will select here offset let me choose here offset and distance will be 5 mm 
direction will be opposite you can see like this now thickness will be 10 mm and ok you can see now I will create fillets on all four corners of radius 12.5 mm go to fillet enter the value of 12.5 and select all four corners like this one this one this one and this one now click here ok looks like uh, due to this extrude our cutout which we have created is closed up to this portion because it has extrude but that's not a problem we will create another extrude cut perform another extrude cut first we will create these holes now select this face, face and sketch or let me exit this I will use hole wizard now select here hole tab drills and dimensions will be 10 mm so m10 1.0 will be the best thickness up to 10 mm now go to position select a 3d sketch and snap the centers like this one this one this one and this one now click here ok you can see we have created all four holes now select this face sketch and convert entities now extrude cut select here through all both now you can see that thickness was included due to this rectangular flange extrude which I have created earlier now you can see we have created this profile now there are some fillets remaining this one this one and this one these two fillets are of radius 5 mm and this top fillet and bottom of above this rectangular flange is of 3 mm so go to fillet enter the value of 5 mm select this one this edge click here ok now again select here fillet this time enter the value of 3 mm and select this edge and this edge like this click here ok now you can see I have created all these features let me show you so that you can easily understand if we are doing dot or right way or the wrong way you can verify your model by switching to section view let me choose a proper plane first we will view from the front plane so that you can get the top view you can see here it looks like exact this part now I will select this top plane and section view I will select a normal tool or you can simply drag this like this you can see here it looks like exact same so I think we have created it in the wrong, right way so if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates and let me know in the comment section if you have if you stuck somewhere thank you